Wonder how the squirrel was able to react so quickly and escape from the eagle's claws? This lesson is about control and coordination in animal bodies, which includes the nervous system and the endocrine system. In this lesson, you will learn about the endocrine system in animals. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Describe the levels of control and coordination in the animal body. Define the endocrine system and compare it with the nervous system. Define hormones and describe properties of hormones. Explain the endocrine system in humans. Explain the different hormones released and their functions. And explain the mechanism of hormone regulation. The animal body has two levels of control and coordination. Nervous coordination and chemical coordination. The nervous system and the endocrine system act in a coordinated manner for the proper regulation of body activities. The nervous system consists of the brain, the spinal cord and the nerves. The endocrine system consists of glands and hormones. There are important differences between the two systems. In the nervous system, electrical impulses are transmitted through the nerves, which are composed of neurons. A neuron acts fast but only for a short time. In the endocrine system, chemicals called hormones are secreted by the glands into the blood. The action of a hormone is slow, but lasts for a longer duration of time. The nervous system and the endocrine system are similar too. Both systems involve chemical substances. The nervous system releases neurotransmitters while the endocrine system secretes hormones. The endocrine system consists of glands called ductless glands because they empty their secretions directly into the blood. Hormones play a crucial role in the control and coordination of the body. Let's take a look at the general characteristics of hormones. They are secreted in minute quantities. They are poured directly into the blood and carried by blood circulation. They may be steroid, proteins, peptides and amino acid derivatives. They act on target tissues or organs that are located far from the site of production. They are target specific. They are not stored and, except throxin, have high specificity. They are degraded by tissues and are excreted by the liver to the bile and by the kidney into urine. They bring about their characteristic effect on target cells by modifying cellular activities and they act as chemical messengers between the nervous system and body organs. For a better understanding of the endocrine system, let's look at the endocrine system in the human body. It consists of the pituitary gland, the pineal gland, the hypothalamus, the thyroid, the parathyroid, the thymus, the adrenal gland, the pancreas, the testes and the ovary. We will look at the functions of each of these glands. The pituitary is a P-shaped gland present at the base of the brain. It is connected to the ventral wall of the diencephalon. It secretes a large number of hormones 
that regulate organs as well as other glands, hence it is also known as the master gland. One of the hormones it secretes is the growth hormone. This hormone controls the development of bones and muscles. Hyposecretion of this hormone in childhood leads to dwarfism, while hypersecretion of the hormone can lead to gigantism. The hypothalamus is located in the forebrain. It is a part of the diencephalon. It links the nervous system and the endocrine system through the pituitary gland. The hypothalamus controls body temperature, hunger, thirst, fatigue and sweating. The thyroid gland is located in the neck, ventral to larynx in our body. It is known as the largest endocrine gland. It produces thyroxine, a hormone which regulates the carbohydrate, protein and fat metabolism in the body so as to provide the best balance of growth. Hyposecretion of thyroxine leads to cretinine in children and myoxidema in adults, whereas hypersecretion leads to exophthalmic goiter in adults. Iodine is essential for the synthesis of thyroxine. A deficiency of iodine in our diet can lead to a deficiency of thyroxine, which may cause goiter. One of the symptoms of goiter is a swollen neck. Parathyroid glands are two pairs of small oval-shaped glands embedded on the dorsal surface of the thyroid gland in the neck. It secretes a parathyroid hormone or parathormone. Parathormone helps in the regulation of calcium and phosphate ions in bones and blood. Hyposecretion leads to parathyroid tetany and hypersecretion causes osteoporosis. The adrenal gland is located above the kidney, hence suprarenal glands. It secretes a hormone called adrenaline. This hormone is also called hormone of fight or flight or the emergency hormone. It prepares the body to face an emergency condition of physical stress like danger, anger and excitement. It is usually secreted in small amounts but is secreted in large amounts when a person is under physical stress. It enables a greater supply of glucose into the blood to give us a lot of energy in a short span to either fight or flee from the stressful situation. The pancreas is located just below the stomach within the curve of the duodenum and secretes hormones such as insulin, glucagon, somatostatin, and pancreatic polypeptide. It is the second largest endocrine gland. Insulin regulates the sugar level in our blood. If the insulin hormone is secreted in small amounts, the sugar level in our blood rises and causes a disease called diabetes mellitus. Hypersecretion of insulin causes hypoglycemia, sweating and hunger. Diabetic patients may be given injections of insulin to control the sugar level in the blood. A pair of ovaries is the female sex organ that lies in the abdominal cavity. They produce two hormones namely estrogen 
and progesterone. Estrogen controls the changes that occur during puberty, like a feminine voice, soft skin, and mammary glands. Progesterone controls the uterine changes in the menstrual cycle and helps in the maintenance of pregnancy. A pair of testes is the male sex organ located in the scrotum, which is outside the abdomen. They produce the hormone testosterone. Testosterone controls the changes which occur during puberty, like a deeper voice, facial and body hair. The pineal gland is located near the center of the brain, dorsal to the diencephalon. It produces the hormone melatonin. Melatonin affects reproductive development, modulation of wake and sleep patterns, and seasonal functions. The production of melatonin by the pineal gland is stimulated by darkness and inhibited by daylight. The thymus is located in front of the heart in the upper part of the sternum. The thymus possesses a type of white blood cells known as a T lymphocyte. These T lymphocytes govern cellular immunity, which means they help cells recognize and destroy invading bacteria, virus, abnormal cell growth such as cancer, and foreign tissue. We have looked at all the glands in the endocrine system, the hormones they secrete, and the effect the hormones have on the body. It is very important that hormones are secreted in precise quantities. Deficiency or an increase in secretion leads to harmful effects. Thus, the timing and the amount of hormones released are regulated by feedback mechanisms in the body. For example, if the sugar level in our blood rises, this is detected by the cells of the pancreas, which respond by producing more insulin. As the blood sugar level falls, insulin secretion reduces.